You may or may not have heard of the MAT filter. That's M-A-T-T-E. But it's really popular and it's used ubiquitously. It's everywhere. So in this video, I'd like to show you what it is and how you can create it for yourself and maybe why you'd want to use it. So let's start right away with this shot from Petra Trek Tours. They're a touring company that does photographic tours in Jordan. And uh, they asked me to work on this picture for advertising purposes. So it's going to be used for social media and for advertising for their upcoming photo tours, of which I am going to lead one of them. I'm really excited. So uh, at the end of this video, check out the uh, URL to get more information on the Jordan photo tour that I'll be leading. Okay, let's get straight to it. So the really quick and easy way for me to explain the matte look is to simply go do the easy way, which is under preset. So click on preset, and then we're gonna go to red lift matte. Now there's other mats. there's under the color, you can just go to the M-A-T-T-E matte. And what you see often, this is a very simplified explanation, but the, the shadow areas are lifted or brought brighter and bright is not really the most accurate term but it's it's sort of um, we bring the shadow areas to uh, a greater luminosity and uh, let's just try red lift matte so initially you would say well that kind of just looks like an instagram filter well that's where this whole trend started and it's been very popular for weddings very popular for family photos for a lot of um, photography genres and how long this will be popular, I have no idea. But I do know this, is that all photographic trends, all editing trends, all visual trends will pass away at some point and then be revived 20 years later. Okay, so let's go to Red Lift Matte. Now, as you can see, well, it's, uh, it's interesting. It sort of takes the photo from a documentary shot and now adds a little a slight, I, I, I hate to say fine art twist because that's not really the case, but it sort of uh, just removes it from being a documentary shot, okay? So here's the original, which is excellent, by the way. And here is the, the matte look with a little bit of the reds brought up, which uh, really helps. Okay, so let's just go back and we are going to reset to original. And uh, I believe that it's the same on PCs, I'm not sure. On a Mac, Shift R, reset to original. And very simply, I'm going to show you how to create your own mat. All we have to do is go to our effects area. We're going to go to light. And at this point, you should be able to see the tone curve area right here. So we're going to tap on the tone curve. And just make sure that the gray circle is tapped, okay? And then down here, by the way, this is very simplistic, but it'll get the job done. Tap approximately in this area, okay? Next thing, I'd like you to go down to this bottom left little circle, and we're just go going to sort of bring this, uh, this up a little bit. And where you stop, is entirely up to you, okay? So this is a very simplistic and easy sort of uh, grade one level mat adjustment just to show you how it's done. And you can play around with this and make multiple points just by tapping along the curve. And uh, yeah, so there we go. So let's back out and let's just go back to the original. So this is the original and this is with the matte look applied and it gives a sort of film look, maybe certain types of slide film back in the day. And uh, yeah, it's that easy. So depending on the type of picture, the subject matter and the color tones in your picture, you may find this useful or you may find it absolutely ridiculous. And it's really, no one really knows until they practice with it. Okay, so I hope that helped you. And again, this was a Jordan photo tour picture. Really excited about that. Check out markhemmings.com and then simply click on the Jordan photo tour and join me on this great Middle Eastern vacation slash photo workshop slash adventure. Okay, talk soon. See you in the next video.